In this video, my colleague AV Hands is going to show you how to crimp an RS-232 cable to a DB9 connector on one side and test the connector for continuity. Let's jump right into it. AV Network Guy here. The first thing you do is to measure one inch of the control cable and strip it. The second thing we're going to do is grab a heat shrink for the cable and the noodle to isolate the drain wire. Let's watch him put the noodle on. We want about that much sticking out so he'll cut it flush there and rerun it down. As you can see the perfect amount is sticking out. We're only going to use red, black, and shield. Then he'll put the noodle on. Now the trick for the shrimp wrap is to fold it in half once and then fold it in half again. That way he can keep everything consistent as you will see shortly. He will find the mark and line it up to the jacket. Then apply it to the heat gun. Make sure you don't put it too close to the tip of the heat gun and make sure you rotate the cable so all sides can get heat applied. Now he's going to fold away the green and white wires because we don't need them in this case. He's going to strip back the two other wires, red and black, the same length as the drain wire earlier. There are many ways to do this, but he prefers to put them in the teat first so the crimper can hold it. And then you're going to slide it in. And crimp. If you look close, you'll see it's crimped on the jacket, but the wire is right inside here. So your jacket is going to crimp here and the wire gets crimped in between. And there's a little hole inside that your wire can go up into the connector. So again, it's crimped on the jacket here and the wire gets pinched right here. Now let's watch AV hands crimp the shield wire. Let's see if it'll pass the QC tug test. Oh, that was a bad one. In this case, it's not so bad because now we'll see how he corrects it. So it slid off the jacket earlier. So this time, AV hands will put the connector on ahead of time. And it's a little more difficult to do it this way. So then he's going to pinch down. So hopefully as he crimps it, the connector doesn't move. There we go. It's much better and now it's secured. At this point, I asked him to do a secure test for all three wires that he crimped. Everything is tight, just how you want it. For this RS-232 DB9 connector, you can see there are small numbers assigned to each hole. There goes one, two, three, four, five. And since we use pins two, three, five for this type of connection, so red goes to two, black goes to three, and shield goes to five. Then we push all of the wires in and you will hear and feel a little click when the pin is inserted correctly. 
As you can see, nobody's coming out. You can also see the gold inside of the connectors. It's a little bit difficult to see, but you can catch it from time to time. Now we're gonna add the shell on. The shell comes in multiple pieces and it can handle multiple gauges of wires. So here's how we're gonna do this. So he's gonna use this little guy so that it pinches down on the wire. You wanna make sure that you're pinching down on the jacket and not on top of the wires on the jacket. And then those just go in and down, in and down, and it just closes up. Almost done. Now we need to certify that the cable is good. This is a female pin and this is a male pin. I asked him to elaborate. He said the male pin goes into the female pin. So in essence, this is what you're getting inside your connector when you plug. these two pieces together. But once they're plugged in and screwed in, these are connected together and they won't go anywhere, which is how they're allowed to slide in and out of one another. So what we're gonna do is go forward with the testing. We're gonna slide a couple of male pins in the three holes so that we can test it without having a connector on the other end. We added those three pins in holes two, three, and five so we're going to use the continuity tester. When you put the two together, you get a red light. That's how you'll know if you're on the same cable. So we'll start with the ground. The ground should be pin five. As he makes contact, the red light shows continuity on the meter. So we know it's good. The next pin in order should be black coming down the row. As you can see, there's continuity. And the last pin should be red. And this confirms our termination is good. So now this end will go to a Phoenix connector and we'll put some heat shrink on it and we'll be all set. Catch you at the next termination.